What's going on everybody? A huge thank you for clicking on the video. I greatly appreciate that as always. Now today I've got another N64 physical cartridge ROM hack video. And today I'm taking a look at perhaps one of the best Smash Bros hacks out there and that is none other than Smash Remix. So a few things worth mentioning right off the bat, just like my last 64 video, you are going to need the Red Ram expansion in order to play this. I think you need it for pretty much all hacks. I've not come across any that don't, so figured that was worth mentioning. Also something worth mentioning is that Smash Remix is still an ongoing game, so they're still updating it and constantly making changes. I believe at the time of making this video, uh, version 1.40 is the most recent version, and that's the one I've got. It might have changed now, I'm not sure. Uh, so you might have seen a lot of different Smash Remix cards out there. They're usually labeled which version they are, but just so you know, they aren't all going to be the same. So unless you have some sort of retro cart blaster dumper type thing to update your cartridge, or if you're playing on an EverDrive, you are going to be stuck with the version you've got. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the cartridge here. You can see some of the characters we will have to look forward to whenever we pop the game in. And a little bit of a crease here, a little unfortunate, but honestly, you can't really tell it's pretty dark it's kind of hard to tell unless you're in the light right there but everything looks and feels great i definitely prefer the gold over the red i say that every time i'm just not really the biggest fan of the red reproduction cartridges but it feels very sturdy just like an original in six uh in 64 game and i i do have an original super awesome looking smash bros here for comparison's sake we got the og and the remix here they look and feel great so no complaints here so obviously I am a bit of a collector and if and when I am given a chance to get the box, I will take it. And today is no different. So I do have this awesome looking Smash Remix cartridge box here. Just looking fantastic. It looks a lot like the original, but Remix, of course. And if we take a look at the back here real quick, this is where we start to see some of the changes here and what this game has to offer. If you guys want to read that, feel free. Just talk a little bit about the game and what it has to offer as well as some of the new characters Obviously, this is an ongoing game, so there's probably going to be more than what this actually says on the back here, but that's okay. It's also worth mentioning that on both the cartridge and the box here, despite all of this Nintendo branding here, it's not actually an official Nintendo product. It's just a mod of one, so it's just for the sake of looking cool and collecting, but it's not actually officially Nintendo licensed, so don't go thinking that it is. Now, it is worth mentioning I did get both of these from different places, so if you are interested in any of this, I do have links to both of these down below. Overall, though, I think this is just looking fantastic. I just, I love the way both of these look, especially the 64 box. I love 64 boxes, even though they're maybe not as sturdy as other video game boxes. The colors on everything, on, on every side, they, they make every game pop, in my opinion, so. And I also just love the way that it looks kind of like the original, or at least pretty close to it, so I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, the cartridge and box are great, physically speaking, that's no surprise, but we're going to go ahead and pop this into the trusty and indestructible Nintendo 64, and we'll see if it works. Once again, I'll say, if you're not familiar, I do try to show a real, authentic experience, pretty much how I'd play it by myself at home. So, classic 64 hooked up to a CRT TV, you know, instead of a modern TV and a capture card, I use my not-so-great phone to capture the footage to show you that more legit classic experience all right now where to begin i guess probably the characters so this game's insane like actually what personally and initially piqued my interest was the characters and there are so many great additions to the roster you've got people from future installments like young link dark samus mewtwo lucas etc you know the whole shebang but you've also got new additions that we haven't seen before like the rest of the og Star Fox gang you know slippy and peppy they're both in there and they're actually pretty fun to play as especially slippy i was surprised by that but then you've got other nintendo classics that honestly should have been in the official smash game like conquer from conquer's bad fur day goemon if anybody's familiar with goemon it's kind of a hard game to come by and then they even added supersonic and giga bowser which just feels wrong to me but in a good way like Giga Bowser? Okay. They also added polygons into the mix, and I don't know about you all, but I always wanted to play as the polygons growing up. They they just look so cool to me. Am I alone in that boat? Maybe? So if you are ever interested in playing as a polygon, now you can. So the characters are obviously awesome, that's to be expected. They're all honestly so much fun to play as, but what I didn't expect was the stages. 
I knew they added stages to the game, and when I first started playing for a good while, I was just on this first page, and it wasn't until I probably played as like every character at least once that I noticed there's more pages, and they literally just kept getting better. Like, the amount of stages blew my mind. And honestly, each one is a masterpiece. You know, they've got ones that you'll recognize, but more importantly, they've got new ones, and they all look so good. They've got stages from tons of different series and games that I think you'll probably recognize, and it's honestly hard to pick which one's my favorite. I do love playing the table from the intro, that's a good choice, I always thought that should have been the stage. And then also the Game Boy stage looks really great, I'm a Game Boy guy of course. And then the Great Deku Tree, Deku Tree, I'm not sure the proper pronunciation on that, that stage also looks amazing. Seriously, each course is so well designed. Just like the new characters, the new stages, they, they feel right at home. All of this feels like it could have been in the game, you know, like if the DD took off, maybe we got it here in North America, we could have got something like this. It, it just feels right. So I highly recommend you check out each and every stage. And if you get a chance, let me know which one was your favorite down below. Now, moving on, we've got a couple other additions to the game. Probably the coolest one, in my opinion, was the All-Star Mode Edition. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with All-Star Mode. Very nice edition. I'm obviously not very good, so pretty sure I'm on easy, so please don't make fun of me. They also added different bosses into the game, so it's not just Master Hand anymore. You've got Giga Bowser, who's not only playable, but also a boss, as well as a few other characters like Mad Piano, Metal Mario, Super Sonic, a few others. Another mode that I really liked was the 12 character battle mode, where you actually get to pick your team of 12 players. You either pick from their presets where you can create your own, and then you face off against the enemy, and first one to beat the other 12 basically wins. And it just gets the neat mode that kind of forces you to play as characters you don't normally play as, and I don't know, I thought it was a neat addition. They also have the multi-man mode and cruel multi-man mode where you just go up against an endless barrage of polygons until you lose, so certainly a challenging mode if you're up for that kind of thing. Playing through the game though, there's tons of additions to the regular game that are just quality additions. Like even the little things, you know, like adding the golden gun from GoldenEye so you got like a one-hit kill item, that was really cool. Or even just the other stages on the remix modes, like there's so much this game has to offer. Obviously it's still going on, so they're only going to add more, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what comes next. I honestly still don't know what my favorite part was, you know, the characters they play and handle nicely, especially the new ones, it all just feels so legit. And of course the stages, all of them just look so amazing and colorful and were very clearly well designed. All of this just actually feels so legit, I keep saying that, I know but this is absolutely one of the best design hacks out there for sure. That's going to bring us to the closing portion of the video today. I can safely say in my experience with this cartridge, I didn't experience any sorts of glitches, bugs, or anything like that. Everything worked as intended, which is fantastic. I also want to give a huge shout out to the Smash Remix team. I believe there are quite a few people behind this hack. And if I'm not mistaken, the Smash Father is the project lead, so huge thank you to the entire team for making this hack possible and making something that we can all experience together. They made a fantastic game that I have no doubt you and any of your friends would enjoy, so I highly recommend you all check out this ROM hack immediately and let everyone know what you think of it. Bust out Smash Remix for the next Smash Night and just blow everybody's mind. Like Seriously, they will, they will love this game. Once again, a big thank you to everybody who clicked on the video. I truly appreciate that. And if you like the video, feel free to leave a comment and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you have any ideas on what you might want to see next, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you all later.